Howdy. Y'all want to see what's in my backpack? Let's do it. Dude, it is hot out here and there's bugs, but it's nice. It's kind of creepy back here. You can hear stuff moving around in the woods, trees cracking and stuff, but I kind of dig it. Whoa, it's hot. Check this out. I found this this morning when I was taking the dog out. I think, I think it's an owl feather. So I put it in my hat. I got a feather in my hat. I don't know what that means. It means I'm pretty cool. All right, let's talk about my pack. Um, I, I'm like a lot of people, I have a backpack fetish. I love backpacks and I got a lot of them and I've owned a lot of them. I've gotten rid of some. I still have a whole bunch in a closet. I've destroyed backpacks. I feel most comfortable with a pack on my back. It's weird. Um, and I, I kind of blame that on my childhood. You know, we had backpacks on a lot and we would hunt and stuff for food. And it's just like not a feeling of work. It's a feeling of safety. Like, okay, I, I've got my stuff with me. I'm okay if things, things go bad, if things go south. I got what I need. It's on my back. And that's how I approach this my everyday carry camera adventure setup. This is just what I'm hiking around with all the time. I go out on a shoot, I go out on a hike, I go to meet somebody. This is kind of what's always in my backpack. So that's what I'm gonna tell you about. Now, things change sometimes. Uh, if I'm going on a trip, I change some things out. Uh, if I'm going overnight, whatever. If I'm doing certain specialty things, maybe I'm just gonna shoot film or whatever. I'll take some things out, put some other things in, mix and match. But this is pretty much typically the stuff that lives in there 90% of the time, I guess. Um, and I, yeah, so let's get into it. What is this thing? This is a GORUCK, kind of dirty, GORUCK GR1. Um, GORUCK they're they're like a mil spec bag they're designed for rucking which is like putting heavy stuff in your backpack and hiking up hills or doing rucks they have competitions and stuff and so you know they're designed to be super tough they're lifetime guaranteed i think when we open it up it says that inside i think on the tag inside lifetime guarantee that was the big attractor for me this isn't a camera backpack this is a go ruck gr1 bag design for just carrying heavy stuff like they actually sell metal plates that you can put inside of here it's got a little sleeve for it I looked at these things for a while and I thought this is the camera bag I need and I thought about it for quite a while and I thought I can customize this thing and I can turn it into my my freaking ultimate everyday carry camera backpack so let's get into it um I have on the outside I added this water bottle holder, which I got off Amazon to hold my Yeti bottle, which I love. I love these Yeti bottles with the little drink spout. Can you see that? Whoop. Super cool. I'm a water psycho. Like I got to have water with me. I drink a lot of water. I drink about three or four of these a day. I like to stay hydrated. I'm sweating right now, dude. I need to, it's hot out here. Um, so I put, I got that on. I had this from an old backpack. Um, you know, let me back up a little bit. The reason I got this is I had for six or eight years, I had a competitor's bag. I had a, well, it rhymed with GoPro. I had a low pro, like a pro tactic, which is one of their best badass bags. And I destroyed two of them in the space of, I don't know, six or seven years, maybe. First one I blew out the zippers. I called him up and I said, uh, or I emailed him and I'm like, hey, I, my bag's out of warranty, but do you replace zippers? I'm a pro and I just beat the hell out of it. And they're like, no worries, we got you. They sent me a new bag. That was super cool. Low Pro is a great company. They make great stuff. I own a lot of their stuff, but uh, and I have owned a lot of their stuff over the years. I like it, but I kept destroying their top, top of the line bag. And the next one I got, 
I started blowing out the shoulder straps like they were coming unstitched and I was like, I can't have this. I'm going like all over the world, all over the country, crazy remote places all the time. That's what I do for work. Not really as a photographer sometimes, but mostly as a filmmaker. So this thing I've had a year and a half and I have taken it to Africa, South America, Alaska a couple times, Mexico, just had it up in Salt Lake, I've had it in a bunch of states, Missouri, Oregon, Washington, all over California, Joshua Tree, Death Valley, up in the woods, I don't know, Mojave Desert. This thing is like darn near looks in the same shape as when I got it. And I've put some hard miles on it. I use my backpack 350 days a year. I mean, I'm, it's almost always going with me. I'm on the go a lot. I'm shooting a lot. I'm dragging this thing around a lot. So they get a lot of work. So I have put a water bottle carrier in the outside so I can easily reach my water. This thing is getting kind of beat up. I don't know how long it's going to last, but it's just a $15 jobby off of Amazon. I have no idea which one. Um, I've customized the front here with some bungee, bungee cords that I wrapped around this, these, this Molly, these Molly deals. And, uh, what I do here is I'll usually put like a rain jacket or a fleece jacket or a down vest or something in case it gets cold, like in the fall, or if I'm going to be in some weather or I have some wet, muddy clothes, I put them on the outside of my pack. Let me show you that. And then over here, what is this? I've got a couple carabiners and a daisy chain. And I always have this on. Check this out. This is cool. So I can take this off. And I've got, it's got all these loops on it and I got a couple beaners. So look, I am with the work I do, I'm semi-frequently in helicopters, in boats, um, in the backs of trucks. Um, I've used this, I use this a lot. Like if I'm in a helicopter with the door open, Sometimes if it's like a police helicopter or not really like designed for shooting, but the door's open and I'm shooting out of it, I will, uh, I'll have my backpack with my gear. I can clip on, I can daisy chain, or I can girth hitch this around something. Boom. My bag is, the, the, the chopper's not going to roll and it's not going to go flying out and I'm going to lose all my gear. Or, or also what I'll do is I have this which is a black diamond belt, black diamond makes climbing gear. Look at this, look at my belt buckle. <laughs> Whoop. Um, black diamond makes climbing gear. This isn't something you would climb in, but it is super strong. It's a climbing harness buckle. So if I think I'm in a dangerous spot or something, I can use this daisy chain, I can clip onto my belt, and at least I have like a little something where it's going to take my body weight. It's not going to take like a dynamic fall. You wouldn't want to do that or use it climbing or anything like that. But I keep this on and uh, to keep me safe in the event of something like that. And uh, also, if I'm in the woods or a jungle, the ground is wet or muddy, or I just don't want my bag on the ground with the bugs and with some stuff, I will take this and I can loop it over a branch and hang my bag in a tree. I use this. This is like such key gear and I feel naked if I don't have it on my backpack. So daisy chain, couple of beaners, comes super in handy. I actually just used this on my last job. I was filming a movie and I had to be the guy to go, we're on a boat at sea and I, I sort of volunteered for it. It's kind of my idea, but I had to climb up the mast of this boat and get a shot straight down. And I had a harness on so I could go up there and clip, but we're using cinema cameras. We're using the Sony Venice 2, which is a top of the line, big boy movie camera. The thing with the cinema lens and the rig, it's like 35 pounds and I'm up on this little ladder. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen. I use this daisy chain to loop around the handle on the camera and tie it in when I was up there 
on top of this mast so that if I dropped it, it wasn't going to fall. And so, yeah, this freaking thing comes in handy all the time. I realize there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. Let me get into my backpack. Okay, let's open her up. I've got uh, a couple poles. I broke one of the zipper poles, so I put this little cord on there. Okay, inside. There it is, GR1, lifetime guarantee. There's this little zipper on top. In here, I have uh, some eating utensils. <laughs> Can you see those? Whoop. Um, I have an eyepiece for a camera, and I have uh, a spare couple set of spare set of reading glasses. Because, dude, I'm getting old and my vision's getting bad. And if I end up like breaking my or losing my glasses on a job or even just day to day, I can't even see my freaking phone. I'd be in trouble. Trouble. Capital T. Let's open this thing up. So, sitting right on top, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. I have these two pouches. Now, these are Velcroed in. Boom, and boom, they come out. Now, I've got this one. And this one. Now these guys, when I, I feel like I should move that camera closer now so I don't have to reach so far. Let's do that. Okay, hey, hey, look at that, okay. Um, these guys, they Velcro in, and when I am getting on an airplane, I have knives and things in here. So these go in my checked baggage, and then I have all this space at the top of my bag that I usually put like specific travel stuff, like some of my chargers for my cameras, a uh, little battery pack for my phone, just stuff like that that I need on an airplane, headphones, stuff like that fits up here. Things that I don't have day to day. But if I'm just day to day at home, once I land or if I'm at home, this stuff goes in there. The first one, the red one, obviously, is a first aid kit. Now, this guy is, I used to have a smaller one and then I ordered this thing and it's a little big, just the pouch is a little big, but I do have it full of stuff. I wish it was smaller, like I wish I didn't have such a big first aid kit, but I've got some key things in here. I've got a trauma, it's, this is from Field Craft Survival. Bugs getting me. This is a like a trauma dressing, a blood clot uh, dressing in case someone has a serious, serious flesh wound. I've also got uh, this, which is a rapid, a small, hold that up, tourniquet. Um, those are the two key items. And then I've got like some ace bandages, some band-aids, just little bandages, things for blisters. I've had friends, you're out with friends, someone gets a blister, you've hiked a bunch of miles, someone has a blister, they could be in trouble. Like, they could just make things really, really suck. So, I've actually never used any of that stuff, but uh, I've used a lot of bandages on my friends and other people. I have some leftover pain medication that I was prescribed for an injury I had, but I keep it in here in case, and you know, maybe doctors don't recommend this, but in case I get really injured. Uh, I got some Dramamine. If I'm on a boat, I'm on boats a lot. I don't always take this, but if you need it, you need it. Some Carmex lip balm. Just, I've got like some Neosporin, just some little things for wound dressing, that kind of stuff. So that's in there always. Then we have this little bag. I love this one. Let's show you the right side up. Here we go. Boop. This is, can you see that? Come on, focus. There it is. This is my toolbox. So. On the outside, I've got, this is my spare knife. It's just a little Gerber pocket knife. Focus is not working real well. There we go, Gerber pocket knife, boop. Um, I don't know, it's an okay knife. It's just in here in case I lose my other knife. And then this is uh, my regular pocket knife that I usually have in my pocket. And then on the outside, this is cool. I have this little guy, which is boop. 
a light and it dims and it flashes and it does all these things. I like this because a lot of times if I'm working, um, I was just working on, I bought this, excuse me, I bought this uh, in Alaska actually when I was doing this show Deadliest Catch and I'm working on a boat at night sometimes and the lights are out, the captain wants the lights out because if the lights are on, he can't see the ocean. So I bought this little guy and you can clip it like to your shirt and if you're looking down and you're working, it's just pointing straight down. It doesn't need to be a headlamp that's like going everywhere, but it's like a cool, cool little work light. And it charges via USB. So now I just keep that in my bag. Dude, the bugs are eating me up. This is not cool. Um, I must taste good. Inside of here, I've got some utility cord. Use that for like drying my clothes. Use this in Peru when I had to do laundry in a stream and had to hang my clothes up to dry. Um, I've got a couple different Allen tools, metric and, and standard. I got to have those for the camera stuff I'm doing. I've got a Gerber multi-tool. This is my spare because I just lost my uh, Leatherman, which I like the Leatherman best. I've got a headlamp, a proper headlamp if I need that. I've got, uh, oh, my stuff's fallen. Put it over here. I've got, uh, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is, uh, I got this at like Home Depot or Lowe's and check this out. It's like a little all-in-one like screwdriver. It's got a whole bunch of screwdriver bits and it just goes in this little teeny thing. And this thing was like six bucks or something, but I just love how it's like one little thing. I use this freaking thing all the time. Uh, what else is in here? I've got, oh, I've got this. This is always with me. I've had this about 10 years. This is another knife. I don't know who makes this. A lot of my friends have asked, man, where'd you get that? Boker, it's Boker. It's just a little bitty like utility knife. But the cool thing is it's got this sheath and it's like a neck knife. So you can, you can put it around your neck. And it goes like, it'll go poop, right under your, under your shirt. Um, so I've worn this if I was, you know, in a strange city or another country and in a bad part of town. Hey, sometimes I am. And I'll wear this under my shirt. No one can see it, but I'm like, you know, if someone tries to mug me or throw me in the trunk of a car, at least I've got something on me. I can cut my way out. So it stays in my toolbox. I don't carry it around a lot, but when you need it, when you need it, you need it. This thing is freaking cool. So, and then I've got like another little screwdriver. Oh yeah, and I've got this, check this out. I've got, where is it at? Oh, I've got this. Mm, come on, focus. This is some heavy duty utility thread and a couple of needles in case, in case I've got to sew up some clothing. Like a lot of times the work I do, I'm going into other countries or remotely and if something blows out or breaks, I've got to be able to fix it. So I've got a little bit of tools, sew up some clothes, whatever. I think there's, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 or 15 yards of uh, thread here, super tough thread. So this stuff is always with me toolbox. Let's pack this up. Zip, zip, zip. Uh. Then I have This guy, let's zip it up. I don't usually keep it zipped, but I'll zip it up so I can show you. Boom. This is an F-stop camera cube. Fits right in the bottom of my GR1. Dude, check this out in the bottom of my pack. You see that? Come on, focus, focus, focus. This is Dude, last summer, almost a year ago, I was in Peru and we were in kind of Northern Peru, way out in the middle of nowhere. And one of the local guides we were with, he cut this off a tree. Dude, it's, it, you can still smell it. 
it was like the richest, most aromatic, wonderful smell ever. It's been in the bottom of my backpack since then. I'm not taking it out. It's in there for good luck. Anyways, this is where I keep my camera gear. So, boom, what's in here? I've got my Q2, boom, always with me. The digital go everywhere and the M6, boom, always in there. Also have this, which is, check this out. I love this. I take this usually because if I need a point and shoot, it's my little Olympus XA1 point and shoot and it fits perfectly in this little Pelican case. Like I've done, I was working, where was I working? I think in Missouri or something, we had to do a canoe trip for work and I didn't want, I'm in this little bitty canoe and I didn't want to bring all my cameras like the canoe tips over. So I brought this and it's in a Pelican case, it's totally waterproof. So I have a freaking camera, I can take stills. And I did, pretty cool. So that's in there. Um, I've got a Pelican case for my memory cards. I've got this little Ziploc baggie with some lens cleaner and lens tissue. I like that over like a cloth. I mean, I do have just like a regular lens cloth, but I like this stuff because it's, it's uh, disposable and it's like really clean, like, you know, the cloth, ones, they can get dirty. And then you're wiping your lens with something that actually already has dirt on it. So sometimes you just need, you just need like some actual fricking, here, I'll show you. You just need like some lens cleaner and a real tissue. Boom, 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 boom. So I try and always have this in the bottom of the bag. Uh, I've got this little guy, which is a little aperture light. This is cool. It's a little light panel. Sometimes if I'm doing portraits or something and I want to throw some light on somebody, boom, boom. And it's got effects. I was fooling around the other day to do like the blinky effect. Um, so that's always in there. And sometimes it's also got a magnet so you can stick it on things. And if you're in a car or a helicopter or whatever, sometimes it's just like a really good utility light. Like you don't just want your headlamps. If you notice, I have a lot of lights. You need light and I'm out after dark a lot. I'm working in the dark a lot. Gotta have light. So, and then I've got this little pack, which is a think tank. It's a think tank little zippered thing. In here is a couple lenses for my Leica uh, M6, red filter for my Summicron lens. Um, I've got a I've got a 35, Voigtlander 35 on the camera. I've got a 50 millimeter Summicron and a 15 millimeter Voigtlander lens. So this is just my M6 kit. And then floating around in top, I said I was gonna show you this thing is my film. So I don't know, just an assortment of film I'm carrying around in case I need some film. Isn't this cool? I just got this thing the other day when I was in Salt Lake City. Um, and then floating around on top, I also have this little Nanolite light, which is also pretty cool. Like, come on, there we go. Bloop, 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 doing the blinky thing. So this thing also has uh, magnets on it and you can stick it to things. So, whew, and then you know, I've got some, right now I've got some camera batteries down there. Sometimes I'll mix and match things. The point and shoot will come out. Maybe the M6 will come out. Maybe, maybe I'll just put like my Nikon film camera in there. Um, that's it. The cool thing about this is though, watch this. I close this up, okay? This zips up. I keep the zippers here at the top. Just show you right here on this camera. Um, I can unzip here. I keep the case inside unzipped. I can reach right in, pull out my Q2, boom. So I can get to it really fast and I can just slip it right back in there. Boom, close it up, zip that up, bada bing, I'm ready to go. That's how I like to operate. I'm thirsty, 
This has been a fast and furious what's in my pack episode. Um, let me see what else I can tell you. The bugs are freaking eating me, man. Um, shoot. So, yeah, that's it. That's what's in my pack. Um, I just want to, I think I said this at the beginning, I just want to go out and know that I'm prepared, right? And uh, I want to know that I got everything to get through the day if I need to. I've got a fair amount of water. I can get through a day with that water if I need to. Maybe not in the Sahara Desert or something. Um, if I'm going to be out a long time, maybe I'll throw like, you know, an energy bar or something in there, or some food or a sandwich or something, or a beer. Um, you know, I'll, I'll configure it depending on specifically what I'm gonna do, but this is pretty much the typical everyday carry. Um, dude, the bugs are eating me up, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's it, I, I really love this pack. I think, um, I like how I have it configured. Um, it's, it's just enough room, it's kinda cool because uh, it's like not too big, so I can't carry too much shit. Oh, and I should tell you, there is a there is a laptop sleeve on the back. So, yes, because I'm making TV and I'm typically uh, either, if I'm not the DP, I'm the director or the producers, I have to use a laptop all the time anyway. So when I'm working, I always gotta have a laptop. Don't we all? We're doing pictures, we're doing video, we're doing whatever. Gotta have your laptop, man. So I can put a laptop in here. The thing is just big enough where I can't overpack it, <laughs> which is cool. I just went to Salt Lake and I wanted to take a bunch of video stuff and I thought, well, maybe I can get it all in there. I couldn't. So I had to bring a Pelican case with me, which is fine. Um, you know, I think maybe in the near future, I might go back to, I might try and find like a dedicated uh, photography pack just for photo and video, so maybe some projects that are gonna come up and I just might need something a little more dedicated, a little more specialized. This thing is cool for every day. Um, it does lack sometimes if I'm, if I'm doing professional stuff, I have to then bring a Pelican case or something, which again is fine to protect things. This will still hold everything I need to get me through a day. That's it, thanks for watching. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. I always feel like I forget stuff, you know, and then I'm making the video at the end and I'm like, oh, I should have said this. I don't know. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment and, you know, do me a favor and just do all the beep, beep, beep stuff. Appreciate you watching. Uh, we'll see you real soon. I got some, got some cool stuff coming. So get out there and uh, go explore. Go have an adventure. Get off your phone or your computer, or your couch. Get out there.